innovation. How can we innovate? How can we preserve the system? And let me make it an important connection here. When your imagination is weak, all you can really think about is continuity. What you know from the past, continuing into the future. And so from my point of view, futures illiteracy, the fact that we are not able to understand our imagination and anticipation is something that's fairly universal, even if planning and foresight and strategy and innovation become stronger and stronger. We have to really improve, improve, improve. But all of that remains with what I would call the, the monoculture of our imagination. The education systems of today, and I speak of here K through 12 or university, they're really, for the most part, uh, oriented towards certainty. Uh, the idea that you know the answer to the test, uh, the idea that if you get the diploma, you will get a job, uh, all of these things are predictive and they're, and they're anchored in the idea of certainty. Uh, that, that, that leads us to a very uncomfortable position because the only certainty is uncertainty. And this means that essentially we are uh, in, a, in a position where, where we're likely to be anxious uh, about the future because even if Papa says, don't worry, <laughs> you know that Papa doesn't really control everything uh, and that the world is not something that, that, that without surprises. <laughs>